Today I'm teaching one of the most useful techniques of all. This is the ability to subtract numbers. Now, in the past, I'm sure you've seen this, they've shown you in school how to subtract a number. And what happens is they say, well, let's, let's take a number and subtract it from another number. And if the number itself is too large to subtract from, we're going to borrow. Okay? And that causes a lot of confusion. I'm sure you understand that. Let's take an example here, okay? Let's say you had the number 9 and you were subtracting it from 17. Well, you know that working from this number here, 9, you can't take 9 from 7 because it's a larger number, right? So what you have to do, you have to borrow from the 10s and then you get a lot of confusion. I'm going to teach something a little bit different. What you're going to do, instead of doing any borrow, you're going to actually add, okay? What are you going to add? Well, this is what you'll add. You're going to look at the 9 and say 9 plus what is 10? It's all going to be based on the number 10. Okay? So, if you look at that, you say that 9 is 1 less than 10. So, you simply take that 1 and add it, not subtract it, but you add it to the 7. And write down that answer, and it's going to be an 8. What that does is, it reduces the number on the left by 1. So, in this case, it will be a 0. So, the answer is 8. Very simple. Now watch again, okay? These are things that, I mean, it's going to freak you out how easy it is to do, but this is the way things work in the real world, folks, okay? It's very easy to do. This number here. This is going to be 724, and we're going to take away 65, okay? Now, again, if you look at the number here, you're going to say, well, you can't subtract 5 from 4 because, again, it's too big. Again, let's look at this and say, what plus 5 makes 10 is a 5. So you add the 5 to the 4, it becomes a 9. And you write the 9 down. What that will do, it will reduce this 2 by 1 to 1. And it, again, you can't subtract 6 from 1. So you, again, you do your little trick I just showed you right there, okay? You say 4, because 6 and 4 is 10. So 4 and 1 is 5. And you write the 5 down. It will automatically reduce the number on the right, or here is on the left, by 1 to make that into a 6. And you write that down, and that's your answer. Very easy to do, okay? Let's do one more, okay? I want you to kind of work with me this time, okay? Work with me and kind of get this in your mind, okay? So you have 6, 2, 7, and you have 4, 8, okay? So most of these numbers here you can subtract from, at least the ones here, but this one's here. A little bit different, right? Okay. So, again, look look at the... Now, one thing I want you to do. Forget about the steps. I want you to just go right into the technique, okay? So, it's going to be 2 and 7 is 9. Write that down. This reduces it to 1. So, you say 6 and 1 is 7. This reduces to a 5. Write that down. And you're done, okay? Very easy to do. Now, of course, you can roll this video back and review it again but what I want you to do is I want you to actually do this I want you to take out your pen and pad and start practicing this here okay so let's just do one here real fast this is this is you okay this is what you're gonna do you're gonna write down let's say seven and four and five okay, seven forty five and let's say let's do this uh, eighty two okay so, the exact same thing. Now, the number here, of course, is easy to do. So, that's not going to be a problem. Okay? You know if you take away 2 from 5 to 3, write that down. Okay? So, it's not scary stuff. Just follow the steps. Okay, now you look here and you say, well, you can't take 8 from 4 because it's too big. But, see, so do my step there, right? You say 2 and 4 is 6. Write down the 6. And what that does is... It will reduce the 7 by 1, and that's going to be a 6. And that's your answer, okay? It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Now, let's say that you're, you know, you're, you're working with something, and you're looking at numbers, you're trying to subtract numbers, and you don't even want to write down anything but the answer, or just say it's on a, a billboard, or you're thinking about a number, you can do the exact same steps. Let's use a big number this time, okay? So it's 9, and let's say 1, okay? So it's 921, and you're going to subtract 74, 
okay so that's what you're going to do okay now now what do you do okay again looking looking right here okay looking right here okay you say six and one is seven boom and that's going to be partial answer now you know that this is reduced by one okay there's no mystery there this reduced by one so it's a one so it's three and one okay that's what you did how to get the three again because you know that seven and three is ten so three and one is four write down the four and then that nine reduced by one to eight and you write down the eight and you're on to mastering your subtractions isn't that amazing okay so that's how you practice it it's just that simple it doesn't take you know years and years and a whole lot of theory and study these are things that I'm trying to show you to make it easy for you to see things the adding the subtracting the multiplying the vision anything I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the best way to do this so you understand math it's not about tricks it's not about shortcuts it's about understanding math okay so thanks for watching this video continue to watch these videos because I'm making these for your benefit so please comment please subscribe thank you for your subscriptions and also just let me know of anything that I can do to help you okay say do you have some things so how how do you do uh, percentages or, or how do you do decimal points I mean I can show you these things but you have to let me know that they're needed so until next time you have a great day we'll see you later